Hello everyone, it's Carrie back again with you today. I am going to be sharing a really fun, lots of love llama card today. I am gonna be using some of my favorite products from Heffy Doodle, and this is gonna be real fun. So I've gathered the coffee cup shaker dies, which is this part here, and then also the perfect blend stamps and dies, and I'm gonna be using some of the small ones here. I'm not quite sure which ones, but we'll pull this all together. And then I've pulled out some of my favorite love and hearts stencils from Heffy Doodle. And we're going to put this all together starting with this stencil right here. This is the Love is Everywhere stencil and it's one of my favorites. I'm going to be starting with some Desert Storm cardstock or craft cardstock. And then I'm going to ink on some oxide inks over this cardstock. Now I love the look of these purple oxide inks over the Desert Storm and my stencil shifted a little bit there. So let me add a couple extra magnets. There we go, and that should stay put. <laughs> and then I will add this darker purple. This is the Villainous Potion. And I'll bring in a blue even. Now what I didn't realize when I was inking on these colors was that the coffee cup is actually gonna cover up most of that lighter color on the inside. <laughs> so I should have left more of the light color and then added just a little bit of the darker color around the edge, but you know what? It all turned out okay in the end. So here's where I'm going to add some of that beautiful dark blue. This is the Chipped Sapphire Oxide Ink. And that just adds a darker kind of tint around the edge, which I really love. Now I'm gonna take this one here and we're gonna cut out the coffee cup from the striped paper pack. This is a new paper pack here. It's the Spring Breeze paper pad. And I'll cut that out of the purple diagonal stripes. And then this piece here, which is the holder, the sleeve that goes around the cup, I'm gonna use the same stencil on that one. This is going to look a little different because I cut this out of white cardstock instead of the, the Desert Storm, but I wanted to give it those same kind of colors to bring this all together. So again, we'll pull in the Villainous Potion and the Chipped Sapphire Oxide Ink. I think that looks really fun. It's, it's just such a cute stencil, so happy. So now let's pull all of this together. I did cut some extra layers of each of those, which you'll see in a minute. And now I'm gonna take some of these llamas and then um, this small image from the Perfect Blend Stamps set. I've also got a little sentiment from the Llama Love to go on the tag there. And you're gonna see as we stamp all of these out. Now, the first one is You're My Cup of Tea, and that is from the Perfect Blend Stamp set. And then this one says, lots of love. And did you notice it had some extra L's in there? That's from the llama set, you guessed it. So let's color up this little llama. I thought he was so cute next to this little coffee cup here. So I'm gonna use some warm grays to color him up. And I'm just going around the outside just a touch. And then we're gonna add some little curly cues. So to do this, I'm just making like little C shapes frontward C and backward C, and my marker must be a little bit overfilled because it started to blob out. I don't know if you noticed that. So I took off the other end of the cap, <laughs> and that usually equalizes out the ink from the inside of the Copic markers, and that worked out really great. Now I'm gonna go over all of those Cs, the frontwards and the backwards Cs, with the next color down. This is the W3 and then I'll go over everything with the W1, just to kind of blend that through a little bit. But I love the look of adding some curly cues to the llama, make it look like he has some curly hair, or at least some fur there. And then we'll just finish coloring him up nice and quick with those same warm grays. He's so cute. <laughs> I really like this llama set. So then I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out with the coordinating dies. I love having coordinating dies and this mini die cutting machine from Heffy Doodle right here next to my desk. It's so great and so easy to cut them out. And there you go, nice and quick. 
And now we've got our images all ready to go. So the next thing we need to do is just put this card together. Super simple. I am gonna build up the coffee cup and I'm gonna build up some of those elements on the coffee cup as well with multiple dies. So you can see with the llama, I cut out three extra of the die, from the die cut so I can build that up to be a nice little embellishment. This is a trick that I like to do quite often, especially when I want more dimension. I think it makes it look nice and neat as well. I like it better than foam most often. I also cut out some extras of that coffee cup. I cut out extras of this sleeve, just one extra I think of that one to build that up a little. Extras of the lid and a couple extras of the coffee cup itself. So each layer is gonna add another little bit of dimension and I really love that on a card. I think it adds a lot of interest and it makes it feel your feel like your card is very substantial. So great. So there we go, just a little bit on that one as well. And I did cut that coffee cup lid out of glossy white paper. So it does look like a real, like a plastic lid. And I like that extra different texture. It's different than the, the other cardstocks. It's got that glossiness to it. So you can see I'm just gonna glue everything down, nice and simple, but look at all these colors of purple playing together nicely. Looks so cute with this little tag hanging out. And I'll just glue that on using my tweezers to place that down. And then this is the lots of love little tag. And I'm gonna add a little purple heart right over the top of that sentiment. And I'll use a little foam square for that so that that is raised up a little bit too and really pops off that tag. There we go. Got that squared away. And then just put the rest of this together. It is such a, an easy card to come together when you have such great products. I love all of these together. Now here's the coffee cup I was telling you. I did cut extras of that as well to match the layers of the llama. And he's just gonna kneel right next to that little miniature coffee cup. So cute. There we go. So that's going to go just like that. And I'll glue those down using some liquid adhesive as well. Now I've got my card base already cut and scored and ready to go. So I'll just glue this panel right onto the front of that card base, just like this. And I may have to trim a little off the side there, but that's okay. And there we go. There's the look of our card. To finish it off, I'm going to add a little bit of stickles, of course, some to the heart there, some to the top of the coffee cup right there. I think a little would have looked cute on that heart tag as well. But just for today, I added just, I tried to, I tried to hold back. <laughs> you know, I love my glitter. So there's our card for today. I hope you love it. And please know that I'm sending you lots of love this time of year. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps us out with YouTube. And be sure to subscribe to the channel. We'll be back with lots more inspiration coming real soon. I hope to see you then. Bye-bye.